Welcome to this. One game a day. Uh, we are playing Psychopaths Mandatory Happiness. And like the title says, I feel like this will be an off-brand persona. <laughs> Just from what I can see from the... Uh, everything, really. Uh, the whatever gaming chat. Boop, boop. Crying still. Stop. Yes, I do want to create a save data. I mean, don't stop. But also stop. <laughs> this game auto saves. Yeah, I figure. I feel like I'm beating Mario 64 100% one handed. It's a really bad idea. Probably. Sado Marine City, I think. National Hospital. Far above the man made dome of the once renowned Metro Paradise stood an ivory tower. This is very slow. <laughs> Within this tower lie part of the city's core functions. Can I... Well, what if I do this? Okay, good. Deep within it. So, no one. Infiltrated the tower's core with ease. Who did? <laughs> Oh boy, it's in Japanese. Is this feels like a personal copy already. Could have been any easier. The network firewall is paper thin. The security system door opened easier than a child's room. Can I... I kind of want to have this in English so I don't have to read everything. But it won't let me uh, get to the setting settings yet. He whispered to himself. He had avoided social interactions for so long that now he only spoke to himself. Hey, kinda like me. Should be somewhere in this tower. Okay. I don't know if I should talk over it or not. When you talk, where have they hidden it? Can't stop crying. Why? Are you good, man? Steal something from Porsche real quick? Don't steal it. Oh. <gasps> no. Please. 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 Please be fine. He searched. Oh, that lot he can steal that. <laughs> and searched for his toy, which had to be somewhere. What is the toy? Very happy to Found it. Oh boy. Uh, I was not expecting this. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> there it was, his toy in the neurosurgery room, as written on the hospital map. It was his first time touching it, but with only a glance he knew. Oh shit, how am I gonna fly with one hand? Um. <laughs> uh, this is doll was made for me. It would be a waste of ways to lock it away in such a place. Come along with me. I regret pausing and unpausing. <laughs> I really want this in English. Like the speech, if we can. From now on, you shall move as my body. Let us depart. I have a mission to fulfill. A very important one from Mother. I checked something. What did you check? Bring happiness to everyone, that is my mission. I know a few people. But I like that. I don't know what my mission is, honestly. I'm just floating through life, playing games on stream, having... 
a pretty good time with you guys. Maybe that's my mission? I don't know. Isn't that right, mother? Character select. 2087. I mean, you gotta go with the whammon. Metropolitan Public Welfare Hospital. Kugatachi Nadeshko-san. Taiin, omedetou gozaimasu. Sainan deshita ne. Kenshiu tochu ni jiko ni awareru da nante. Is that just when I have this in English, man? <laughs> Nadeshko Kuta Kugatachi. Congratulations on your release. Must have been the most must have been most unfortunate for you to suffer an accident in the middle of your training. I'm just gonna talk over it. No matter how much you prepare and plan, accidents always have a probability of occurring. By coincidence, it happened to me. That's all there is to it. Ah, okay. In any case, I'm glad to be free to leave now. I've been a burden to you during my recovery. Damn, she already sounds like a badass. No, we, we were just performing our duty as doctors. More importantly, we are very concerned about the fact that we could not retrieve your memories. Memory be gone. Right, I had no memories. Be more precise, all my memories from childhood till now were all gone. That sucks. What would you guys do if you lost all your memories? Honestly, I would probably be better off. I could remember basic knowledge and life skills. I knew I had studied healthcare and psychology, and I also had the aptitude to work at the Ministry of Welfare, PSP. It appeared that I had been an accident at the training facility, which led to my memory loss. Although I could not recall ever getting into an accident. I would see if there was a way to bring them back. If not, I'd just try to live with it. Yeah. I think that's the way to go. I mean, usually there isn't a way. At least not yet. Maybe in the future there will be. Let's see. Is anything wrong? No, I was just thinking about something. Me! At all times! <laughs> That's fine, but please return at once if anything happens. So what are your plans for today? That's a familiar question. <laughs> Understood. Today, I was thinking of going to work to greet everyone. After all, I imagine I have been out of the office for too long due to the accident. I wonder if we're gonna find out what the accident was. I'm gonna go grab my corn dogs. Do it. <laughs> Is that so? I don't know why I said it with that tone. <laughs> well, please don't push yourself too hard. We'll be here if there's anything you need. Please do your best. Thank you very much. Stuck at star six. Are you still playing it one-handed? <laughs> I guess you would be. Hugh. After giving my thanks to the doctor, I flagged down a taxi and got in. The doctor seemed to have a very good hue. Probably because he was fulfilling his duty. Oh, is that like an aura? Or? I gotta do oh, an already hard star with 121 seconds. 100. 21 seconds? Oh shit. Just like that doctor, I would make sure to perform my duties as well. After all, this was the path that Sibyl had given me. Sibyl. Oh, amazing 60 FPS. Let's go. Starting today, I have been assigned to CID Division 1. My name is Nereshko Kutaka. 
Kugatachi. I always say it the wrong way. I look forward to working with you. How many monitors do you have? Two. One here and one here. They're like whoosh. vertical. I actually use this upper monitor to play uh play console games on stream. Uh, I'm Inspector Akane Zunemori. Inspector Ginoza was originally supposed to show you around, but he got caught up in something. Me too, but I'm using the other one right now, Mario. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good food. Yay! Let's go, Porsi. The woman who created me looked to be around my age, but she gave off a childish impression. That was... Probably a bit rude to me to think of my senior like that. Using your other monitor? Uh, so, upper monitor game, second monitor OBS, and my firebot. So I can actually like see stuff. In any case, let's get going. We don't know when the next dispatch request will come. For some quick glance I read that as god food. <laughs> I mean, close enough. You'll need to swap two letters around. <laughs> Is it very busy around here? Busy? It's more like we're really short-staffed. On my first day, I had to report to the crime scene. Not the crime scene. So yeah, this, this is clearly a visual novel. There's nothing more than this. <laughs> there is not going to be anything more than this. As he walked, Inspector Zunemori told me about her first day on the job. This seemed tougher than I thought it would be. There was no surprise why only a few were suitable. Speaking of which, Miss Kugatachi, I heard you had an accident. Are you feeling fine? I wonder if I can... Oh! Okay. I found the menu. Please say, can I make it... I can't make it English. Dang it. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Hey! Pulse! Violet! Ultraviolet! <laughs> and I suck at Mario. Oh, wait, I'm playing 100. <laughs> no, you just suck at Mario. Just kidding. How are you? How are you guys? How's pool? Pulse? How's Violet? How's your Wednesday? I was discharged today. There are no issues. Doing good here, and you? I'm doing okay. Hey. <laughs> it's Wednesday? Yeah, it is. Is it not? It is. Nani? I mean, what? So you barely got discharged. It's not good to push yourself too hard. Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, the medical results showed no physical or mental problems, like here. Uh, <laughs> there's also the fact that I'm accepting this post late, and I do not like to waste time. Me neither. Uh, is that so? You're so serious, Miss Kugatachi. Why are you so serious? Anyway, where shall we head to now? The criminal investigation department office floor? Ah, yes. First off, I'll bring you to the Division 1 office. I think I can get you acquainted with everyone since they are all in today. We'll get the introductions done as I show you around. <laughs> Please do. 
Through my hospitalization, I had read a few books on workplace communication. I did not know of my colleagues as and subordinates, but I was confident that I would do fine. She looks like the girl from Chainsaw Man. I forget her name. Haven't seen it. I'm having a break on the star. I'm gonna try another one. Go, go, go. You got this. You got this lug. Lug. <laughs> got this luggage. What? <laughs> I raised my chin and followed his inspector Zunemur. Or Tsunemori, I guess. Because we're, you know, Japanese. Fucking get the pronunciation right, bitch. Oh, I didn't read it. Mr. Uh, Masaoka, Mr. Someone else. <laughs> As he walked down the corridor, Inspector Tsunemori stopped the two men walking toward us. Both of them gave off a dangerous impression. Arnar. Oh, it's Missy. Who's the other lady beside you? Newly assigned Inspector Nareshiko Kugatachi. I am Kugatachi. Looking forward to working with you. It's gonna be a lot of reading. My throat is gonna be sore after this. <laughs> That's okay. I see, so this is our new owner. Huh? It's gonna be only reading. Pretty much. Owner? Forgive me, forgive me if I'm wrong, but is there some sort of trend in the public safety bureau where men are reared by the women? <laughs> Is this girl even more straight-laced than Inspector Ginoza or what? Hey, Missy, have you even told her about us yet? She has not. Oh, Star up door, you got it. How many pokies do you have, Porsche? You can't be super much behind me anymore. Surely. Ah, well, Miss Kugatachi, these two are what we call enforcers. They are our subordinates. Uh, 382! Damn, you're like less than 40 behind me anymore. Holy shit, I gotta... I gotta stop streaming and become catching Pokemon. <laughs> become catching? Begin catching. Ah, <laughs> Yes, I have been informed about enforcers. Latent criminals who hunted other latent criminals. As such, they knew how latent criminals thought and were adept at catching latent criminals. Don't you dare stop streaming, nah. Nah. I don't know what I would be doing if I wasn't, honestly. I would just feel miserable. Just what swore's in the background. <laughs> Oh yeah, I actually meant to lurk. Whoops, my bad. There we go. Gotta love Staraptor. It's probably one of my... F I mean, it is one of my favorite flying types. Birdie Pokemons. No! Porcelain didn't get it. But hey, at least Porcelain Luck got it. Good job. <laughs> Shit. And our job as inspectors was to inspect and monitor them, ensuring that these unique latent criminals did not run wild. That makes things easy. The name is Shinya Kogami. Looking forward to working with you, new inspector. Oh, this guy is big boss for good poker. Wait, that sounds wrong. God damn it, Pulse. But also true. <laughs> I'm Tomomi Masaoka. Getting over to meet the Inspector Ginoza now? Yes. Need more pokey cash for those? You know what I meant. I know what you meant. Oh. Sorry about the sound. I do know what you meant. Yes, that's the plan. 
Then you should check out the analyst's place first. The office is a bit hectic at the moment. Did something happen? What happened? If by something you mean Kagari, there was a mistake with that idiot's paperwork and so Gino's been fixing it, that's all. Give it a while to simmer down. Well, this morning Evie was cuddling with me and sleeping, I sneezed and she let out a cute little meow. <laughs> well, first of all, blessed be. Second of all, that's fucking adorable. And third of all, how is Queen Evie? And fourth of all, please give her kisses. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Gary can be so careless. And let's head over to the place of the one you call the analyst. I do not wish to be a nuisance to Inspector Ginoza. Can your girl be a hamster in disguise? Kind of sus. Fifth of all, did you sneeze on her? Probably not. I agree. Well then, Mr. Masako and Mr. Kogami will be on our way. Thanks, yeah, it was. Queen Evie is great even though she clawed my hand this morning. Yeah, I, know, yeah, I saw that. She's good now. I'll give her kisses for you, one. Thank you. Much love. Both of you. Well, no, I didn't sneeze on her. Good job. Yeah. See you later. Alligator. I hope fucking got him. I was brought to the analysis lab, which was full of multi panel monitors and high powered computers. Wow. Oh, hello. Hi, Akane. How's today going? Who this? Oh, this is the analyst. Give her the kiss. Let's go. I hope she appreciated it. I'm showing the new inspector around. Oh, sorry. I'm showing the new inspector around. Miss Kukatachi. This is Miss... Miss... <laughs> Miss Shion Karanomori. The analyst. Um, the analyst's job is... My job is to use these machines and my brain to support you during your investigation. For the most part, I determine victims' cause of death and examine the data from street scanners to analyze and issue psychopath diagnosis. Oh, among other things. So that's what the psychopath part is. Fun fact, I think it would be a kind of a cool job to be a data analyst maybe not like this but like just looking at data seeing all the trends what's happening with all kinds of stuff it's been like a legitimate potential uh, career path for me I have like no experience on any of it but it kind of pays well and sounds kind of cool <laughs> Um, I see. It appears I will require your assistance often then. I look forward to working with you. But she's mine. I was happy to have more cute girls around. Okay, I see how it is. I think whether my appearance is defined as cute. Should I do this because it's only one? <laughs> It's a matter of personal preference, but I am happy to be thought of as likable, nevertheless. Hey, Akane, is this girl okay? No, this girl is not okay. <laughs> um, how do I put this? It appears that Miss Kugatachi is a really serious person. Wait, you're a girl? Hell yeah, I am. I'm a woman. I'm a strong, independent woman. <laughs> I see. Oh, I'm sorry, but there's this nagging case I have to deal with from with Division 2 right now. Is it okay if we continue getting to know each other later? Woman power! Fuck yeah! 
私たちも一係のオフィスに行く途中でしたから。I don't know, I just like playing as female characters in games. Especially games where you, you can have like cool outfits because they're like always better than male characters. And also, I just like women. <laughs> Trans allegory. <laughs> hey! It's a kephalos. A, a kephalos? A kephalos, yeah. Welcome in. I'm Wadu. Hi. We play games every day. <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? Plus, how are you? Howdy. Yeah, I'll say hi to the new person. <laughs> oh, no worries. We were actually on our way to the Division 1 office. So, Miss Karanomori, we'll see you again later. Hey, friend. Sorry, it took me a second to pop in. How's it going? Hey. No sorries in the first message, man. <laughs> Welcome in. It's all good. Uh, how's it going? It's going good. Very chill. It's just basically me reading this story out loud. I know there's like a Japanese voiceover, but... I'm pretty sure I know none of you actually speak Japanese, so... I'll just be reading it. Because there's no... There's no, um, no choice to make it in English. Okay, see you later. I tried, man. I tried to make it English. The speech. You speak Japanese, Pulse? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that's kind of like my knowledge of Japan, too. Nani? And, Omae wa mou shinderu. And, Kawaii desu. And, Arigato gozaimasu. And,. That's about it. <laughs> what do you want to see a cool speed run skip? Sure. Guys, could no. Sorry. Guys, could only ore wa naru. I don't know what that means. I know what Ashi is like. I am. Or I, me. I say nani the fuck all the time, but that's not quite the same. <laughs> not quite. I think if you. Put what the fuck in Google Translate. It'll give you... For Japanese. It'll give you... Um, Nani ga fucku? Or something. <laughs> I remember trying it. <laughs> well, I like that. It means I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Oh. Uh, is that from uh, One Piece then? Nande kotto? Senbonzakura Kageyoshi. Kiyoshi. <laughs> We're just gonna be speaking Romanized Japanese now, are we? <laughs> Finally, we reached the office of the CID Division 1, my workplace from here on. There were two men and a woman inside, but which one was Inspector Ginoza? If you want to see me attempt a dumb speedrun, skip one hand and check the Discord voice channel thing. Well, in that case, no. Konnichiwa, Anti Tomo Shimas. Yo, yoi, yoi chinichi wo oskoshi kudasai. Jesus, motherfucking god. Uh, that means vibrant display of a thousand. Cherry blossoms. Oh, okay, I see. Zakura. Yeah. Forget the entire meaning for a sec there. <laughs> That's fine. Ginoza-san, Kukatachi-san wo tsure shimashita. Inspector Ginoza, I brought Miss Kukatachi. Gokuro datta na, Tsunemori. Mattaku. Thank you, Tsunemori. For goodness sake, if only that idiot Kagari hadn't made such a careless errors. Oh. Oh! No! Stop! Okay, good. Sorry. Uh, hello, my name is Anta. I hope you're having good days with mindset. Ah, I see. I actually learned a lot of Japanese from anime. It's just hard to understand because they speak too fast. That is true. Very fluent in Japanese. 
Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, I didn't know. My bad. We'll need to shower, unfortunately. Ooh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go get the shower, girl. Go shower, girl. And come back soon. Have a good one. If you really care, then start checking your work from now on. Otherwise, it's over time for you. Why is it going automatically? Stop! <laughs> uh, can I... I need to go deep on the shower before someone else does. That's fair enough. I think Riot Games banned me for being too good. And Valorant. Don't take dips in the shower, they'll melt. Dips. What are dips? Oh my god. Dips, okay. Oh, sorry about that. Inspector Kukatachi, right? I'll be working with you in Division 1. My name is Nobuchiga Ginos. Tips are like ice cream bites? Uh, um, let's see if I can... Skip read? Question mark? Oh, so there was no... I want to see again. There was no choice of English. Nope. That's okay. Damn you, Anta. Ah! Uses all the shampoo and condition. Mwah! That's fucking mean, dude. Sharing is caring, Anti. Don't you care? Okay, I'm done. Um... Well, be it. Catch the band. Nice to meet you. I look forward to working with you and contributing to society as a fellow inspector. Uh, I have a feeling an even greater honor student than Akane has become. Has come. Have you checked the functions of your wrist come yet? Remember to confirm the operation of the hue checker. Okay, that one's blue, that one's green, that one's red. See what I did there? <laughs> I'm just sometimes trying really hard to be funny. Uh, hearing that, I looked down at my wrist con. Yay, porcelain got it. Or has it already? Okay, now I shower. Bye bye, porcelain. Come back soon. Enjoy the showers. The job of an inspector was tough, and only a few were capable of handling the stress. The hue checker was the standard device used to maintain our state of mind. Oh. Okay. It seemed if there was a need, one could... Sorry, it seemed... Yeah, I was... I did read it right. It seemed if there was a need, one could receive mental care supplements from the medical affairs department, free of charge. I should probably check my hue regularly. Ah, oh, only DJ got it? Well, I mean anti. Well, both. But also, good job. <laughs> Wisteria purple? Try checking it now. It's currently a clear color, to be expected, since I'm an inspector. By the way, are those two over there enforcers? Ah. Yeah. That's Yayoi Nizuka and Shusei Kagari. They're not like you. Don't get friendly with them. Just think of them as tools. That's not very nice to think about uh, fellow humans. Even if they are a lower class. Whatever. Damn, Gino is so hard on us. Wait a minute, Inspector Ginoza. If you put it that way, then... It's a fact, Tsunemori. You should remember it as well. 
I'm sorry that I'm in a rush, but I need to submit this to the chief. I'll leave the rest to you. Um, Ms. Kugatachi, what Inspector Ginoza meant to say was... <laughs> hey, no femsplaining. <laughs> I think it's a fair assessment. Well, do you do as you see fit, though? Understood it a, I understood it as practicing moderation in our relationships with subordinates. Sorry, I know relationship means like not just like a romantic relationship, but also like friendships and acquaintances and fucking nemesis, I guess. But I still always think about it first as a. You know, romantic thing. Oh well, if you're fine with that, then it's okay. Not sure why, but you really throw me off. What am I down to you, man? Is that so? In any case, is this everyone in Division 1? Oh no, there's a new guy out buying juice right now. Should be back soon. Well, you gotta quench the thirst. What do you talk like that? <laughs> I'm back. Hi, back. I'm dad. Sorry. Sure, you wanted cola, right? And here's the tea for Miss Kunisuke. Huh. Who's the woman over there? As of today, I have been assigned to the Criminal Investigation Department as an inspector. The moment I saw his face, a heavy throb started pounding inside my head. Wondered why. You're just having a migraine thingy. It's okay. Well, not okay, but you know. Oh, a new superior. Name's Takuma Tsurugi. I just got here yesterday. Let's get along well as fellow rookies. As a token of our new friendship, care for some coffee? No. Gee, another dad joke enthusiast? Did we just become best friends? <laughs> dad jokes are fucking great, man. They're awesome. I love them. Um, Wanna hear one right now? I got it from a video off of... TikTok. It may not be as funny, but I find it super funny. Well, super funny. But I do find it funny. Yes. <laughs> what do you call a dog magician? I'm gonna let you think while I read this out. He held out a can of what looked like a very sweet coffee. So presumptuous of him. For some reason, I took it. Thank you very much, Enforcer Tsurugi. Tsu Tsurugi. Hmm, dang what? Houndini? No. A Lapracadabrador. <laughs> Lapracadabrador. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me laugh, man. <laughs> it's so clever. To be very fair, Houndin is also good. Oh, come on, man. What? <laughs> what? It's fine, it's fine. I got you. I got you, dude. To be fair, my love of uh, dad jokes is mainly because of porcelain. Thought I had it right. It was a good one. Where do they put barcodes on Swedish warships? <laughs> so they get Scandinavian. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <sighs> That's a good one. <laughs> I will give you that. Uh, looking at his huge smile as he flashed his pearly white teeth, I suddenly felt this strange pressure within my chest. <gasps> We're already falling in love! 
お願いします。I look forward to working with you. <laughs> e. Dad jokes are fucking great. And anyone who thinks differently is not my friend. Well, that's maybe a bit harsh and most likely not true, but more respect for those who like them. <laughs> uh, he was an enforcer, a subordinate, or rather something more like a tool. But somewhere deep within, I had this absurd notion that made me think he had something I needed. Dun dun dun. Like a footprint on fresh concrete, he left a strong impression on me. Uh, so are you an actual dad? Okay, fellas, or do you just love dad jokes? I'm the latter. I'm not an actual dad. I just love dad jokes. Uh, public safety bureau was always booming and bustling with cases flooding in. Detectives running out. As such, an incident occurred immediately after I had been assigned. Oh shit. I was located in a city far from Tokyo. So right after getting assigned, I was sent on an external investigation. These type of cases were not something that happened often. Oh no, not at all. I'm not dad material, just love the jokes. That's how I feel about myself too. Yeah. That's all, all good. You can be uh, you can enjoy dad jokes without being an actual dad. <laughs> Daddy material. Hang on. <laughs> Side of Marine City, Niigata Prefecture. Floating dome-like city amidst the space formed by the mainland, Sado and the Noto Penin Peninsula, once known as the Metro Paradise. At first, it was a base of blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. <laughs> sorry. It was a base of operations for methane hydrate mining and a model city of the future. But that was all in the past. Now the population had been on a steep decline. Fifty thousand people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Wait, no, that's from Modern Warfare. But it, uh, it it fit the joke, okay? It fit the it fit the line. With the widespread implementation of drones, the northern region became an unmanned granary. Likewise, mining became automated, leading to many people living inside of Marine City. The population had already begun declining many years ago. Those in the residential area left first. And as they left, they abandoned District Peru. The city reminded me of a dusty old toy chest surrounded by the sea. But although it was my first time here, I felt... Nostalgic? It made me feel this strange sense of longing. Homesickness. Interesting. Oh! Well, since we lost the my toilet, <laughs> uh, since we lost our memories, maybe we've lived here before. I don't know. That would explain the the, the longing. Why is the sound effect so damn loud. That's also bro. Good on you. <laughs> since we lost our toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Are my memories. <laughs> well, I mean, losing a toilet is already kind of, kind of bad as well. Uh, I understand it must be quite hard on you as your first mission is quite a distance away, but let's still do our best. Let me just... This is just so loud, dude. Uh, sound effects? Maybe like that. Um, okay, why did you have to save the whole game? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's, that's much better. Affirmative, that won't be a problem. Seeing as she was worried, I pumped my fist in the air. <laughs> but for some reason, Inspector Tsunemori and the rest of Division 1 just stared at me. 
Are we awkward? <laughs> Is she dumb? Yes. That's a rude thing to say to an inspector, Kakari. Uh, I like your enthusiasm. Well then, let's go. Let's go, mamma mia. <laughs> A few hours prior. It had all started with a report filed by parents of a young girl. They claimed their daughter had been abducted. An abduction happened within Tokyo and we, Division 1, will be conducting the investigation. An abduction? Tension coursed throughout the office. It was my first case. Naturally, my back straightened. Well, that doesn't sound too good. What's the details? <laughs> I'm just changing these voices, man. <laughs> Here's the data. Hey, what a cute girl. Hey. <laughs> That's someone's daughter. That's someone who lo who's lost. Come on, man. The missing person is Shiori Matsukata. High schooler from Tokyo, huh? Displayed beside the abductee's portrait was a profile of her. A 16-year-old female first-year student at Sakurazaka Senior High School. Yes, it appears her parents filed a report stating she had not returned home since yesterday night. But Miss Tsunemori isn't it hasty to assume she's been abducted? She's at an emotional age. She could have just not wanted to go home and stepped out for a bit. Come on, man. Ooh, Rampardos. Shiori Matsukata has a clear, clear hue. She would never have done such a thing. Also, there is something suspicious. Suspicious? Mark. Take a look at this. The image on the monitor changed to one taken by a street camera. Other than the abdu abductee, Shiri Matsukata, Matsukata, another person, a male of similar age, was present. The youth's face was, was not visible, but Shiori was smiling, as if she had a close relationship with him. The two were last seen getting into an automated taxi. <gasps> Begin! Hello! Hi, how are you doing? How is how is our vegan? How is our mama bear? <laughs> they look close, but who's that kid? I'm good. Yay! I'm glad to hear that. This identity has not yet been confirmed. Karanomori is currently analyzing the street scanners and camera logs, trying to pinpoint their location. Hey, wait, so you're saying this kid is the kidnapper? Don't they just look like they're two good friends? It appears that way to me as well. But look at the youth's hand movements. Doesn't it bother you a bit? I see no movement. Just that the girl is like this. Unless there's like actual video. Nope. And movements. We played back the footage and zoomed in on his hand. He awkwardly reached out to Shiori and he kept wiping his hands. As if they were sweaty. Clammy. He was nervous. The youth's nervousness is too abnormal to judge them as being good friends. I think there's something more to, <gasps> to it. Oh god. My theory is that guy had a crush on Shiori and and he just fucking abducted her, I don't know. Suddenly a call came in. Bring, bring, bring. Okay. Two of them have been recorded on camera somewhere else. Something's not looking too good. Where is this going? 
Monitor switch screens and show Shuri and the young man in a different location. Thanks for coming today. I was surprised that you came all of a sudden, but I had a good time. That's a... Is it just me or is the guy's hand like really big? <laughs> I don't know. It might just be me. But it looks very large. Huh? What? Wait, aren't you still having a good time? Well, this is gonna go down real fast. No, it's big. You know what they say about big hands and big gloves? Indeed. I have to go. I have a curfew. Huh? What do you mean curfew? Don't you live by yourself in Tokyo? <laughs> my AI secretary keeps a log. My curfew, curfew is 7 p.m. Any later and my family will be notified. Pretty soon my mom will call me. <laughs> my pitch... Um, what's the word? My pitch is all over the place. <laughs> Are they that stupid? Do they really have such little faith in their daughter? So they should have never let you move to Tokyo in the first place. Damn, my man sounds angry. Hey, I'm in Tokyo for school. My parents were only thinking about my future. What about me? Are you just going to leave me behind? Come with me, let's go back to the same high school again. Oh, creepy. How about you don't? Another phone call. Suddenly it seemed like Shiori's cell phone started ringing. Oh, that was in the video. It's my mom. Sorry, but I really have to go. Hey, what? what are you doing? No, stop. What are you doing? 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 <laughs> Sorry, it just fit way too well. <laughs> oh, what is this? The male suspect grabbed her cell and shoved his own cell in her face. The moment she saw it, Shuri's face froze. Huh? What is this? The hollow image projected from his phone was of Shiori in her, her middle school uniform. She was asleep, hunched over on her desk, and her skirt skirt was all wrinkled. Oh, yep, he's a stalker. For some reason, the moment I saw the uniform, a faint pain surged within my head. Even though I had no memories of my school days, I felt slightly nostalgic. Nostalgic pain? When did you take this holo? Isn't it cute? Let's see back when we were in the same class. I snapped it in 3D HD so it's crystal clear no matter what angle you view it from. Oh god! Ah! Get the fuck up! Being raided! Get up! Wait. <laughs> I was like, where's my vest? Gear up! It's a motherfucking right? Where's my fucking helmet? I know where it is. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me. Case Reigns! What's up? <laughs> Thanks for the raid, dude. What's going on, pals? FB Stucker? FBS Tucker? Welcome in. Welcome in all. Let's get you a shout out there, friend. Hey, welcome to the fam, man. I'm back. Hi, back. I'm dead. Chaos Reigns 2788. How was your stream, man? How was the stream? With my first game over one handed. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, y'all should go check out Chaos Reigns. He's a good dude, man. Um, we 
getting fucking go, dude. Anyway, welcome in everyone. For those who are new here, which is probably most of you, um, my name is Wadu. I do streams called One Game a Day, where I play a different game every day. Enjoy the fat rage, brother. <laughs> Not time for me, oh, man. Thanks. What the heck? Fun fact. <laughs> I actually have an emote for it. Um. Yep, there it is. Hey. <laughs> I'll be like a good nap. Uh, okay, yes, friends. Thanks for the raid, dude. Much love. Um. Yeah, Monday through Saturday is like. Different games and Sundays. Currently, I'm doing um, Skyrim. It's a console, there it is. Currently, we're playing uh, Psycho Pass: Mandatory Happiness. It's just a visual novel, so I'll be doing a lot of reading, and that's about it. <laughs> All the emotes. I really like the RP RGB. Bouncy doggo thingy. Alright. I sent this to all of your friends from your cell. Man's blackmailing. What are you doing? Stop! I know there's like Japanese voice, but since most of us can't speak Japanese, I'm just gonna read the thingy. Stop! Delete it now! She already desperately lunged for the phone. The male suspect ran away, taunting her. Then they both vanished from the street camera's view. Motherfucker. That was all the evidence we could retrieve. So it's blackmail. This is clearly and certainly an abduction case. Obviously. Taking advantage of the other party's weakness and gaining control with threats. Such a shameless act. But, but since he had done this, done that, his hue must have been clouded prior to this. Maybe. No, wait a moment, Miss Kugatachi. Couldn't it be just a minor misunderstanding between friends? Are you watching the same footage? I'm at first Bowser now <laughs> blindfolded. No, not blindfolded one. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're really stepping it up today, huh? First one handed and then without eyesight. Same thing. Uh, hand folded. What's your proof? Why are you defending him? Is it because you know him? I don't think so. No way. But well, he may be a junior of mine. Of yours? Huh? Junior? What do you mean? I mean... I guess he means age? Because we said he doesn't know him. Can't be his brother. Uh, the uniform that Shiri Matsugada was wearing in that hollow is from my alma mater at a marine city. It's from a public middle school from there. Oh yeah. Sado Marine City. Feeling those words on my tongue. Sado. Marine. City. My head started to, started to hurt again. Why was this happening? It was annoying and interfering with my thoughts. Hmm. Hey doll, are you not feeling too well? No, I'm fine. So, there's a high probability that the young male and Shiori Matsukada were classmates at a public middle school in Sado Marine City. If that is true, the youth's identity should be easily asserted. 
Were either of them seen after this footage was taken? I think I'm gonna take the helmet off just because I, I really wanna hear the, the voices. It helps me read out. I'll still keep the, um, the vest on. I like to live dangerously during these raid times. Unfortunately untraceable. Keep two. If they avoid the cameras and scanners, there's nothing for me to analyze. The very least, it seems the kid is aware he's doing something bad. Oh, obviously. The location was unknown. However, they had left a huge clue. Have you checked all the records of street cameras and scanners outside of Tokyo? Especially within the Okuriki region, as well as other BSB data systems? No. That also didn't go too well. In the first place, the technological inf infrastructure in the city is lacking. Okuriku. I see, so that's what it's about. If you have you have pretty good intuition, Kukatachi. I didn't say that. It's not intuition, it's an analysis of their words and actions. What do you mean? He said, let's go back, in which case... Sado Marin City not be their most likely destination? Hmm. It would. I couldn't understand why he had done such a thing. But even though I did not know why, I knew how to track his movements. So we just had to follow the trend. Emergency report from Hokuriku. Four Hue levels detected at an underwater subway station in Sado Marine City. Since the youth ignored the warning and fled. Oh, shield on! Catch it! Catch it good! Thorough investigation and analys analysis was conducted at once. All street scanners among underwater subway stations were analyzed and footage from the cameras were reviewed. Oh, she seems scared. Uh, Shiro Matsukata's terrified face popped up in a pixelated 2D image. As the male suspect forced Shiori onto the train, his face could now be clearly seen. Mental color, medium blue. Dark orange. Haruto Sato. He does kind of look like a... Not a good guy. Yeah, catch it luck. It was easy to identify him now. Haruto Sato. Age 16. Born in Sado Marine City, where he currently attended a local high school. Haruto's hue was a dark orange color, indicating impulsive criminal tendencies. We did not know if he was a latent criminal already, but immediate therapy was a must. So far, Shuri Matsukata's hue has not worsened much, but being kidnapped will likely cause her a considerable amount of stress. We need to find and secure her at once. Let's go, Luck! Good job! Yeah, we need to save them both quickly. Both? And just Shuri Matsukata? That's even Haruto isn't the late and criminal yet. Doesn't that make him someone we need to save too? Yes, so. I'm gonna stop for the day right after I beat the first Bowser. Not the fight right now. Kick him. He, kick him's butt. Yeah, kick him's butt. Kick his butt. Kick good. I felt a sharp sensation pierce my chest. Enforcer Tsurugi was right. Here I was, already treating Haruto Sato like a late and criminal. Maybe he... Well, I mean, he probably is. That's right. Let's work hard to secure both of them before they become latent criminals. I'm not sure if it's latent or latent. 
But to me, latent makes more sense. Then also stated that he would likely become a latent criminal. But we would save them both. As long as he had not become one, he still needed to be saved. A PD, let's go! Let's go, Lark. Good fucking job, dude. I wanted to save as many people as possible. Otherwise, I would not have chosen the path of a detective. Save those who should be saved. That was my job. And so, we, the Public Safety Bureau's Division 1, headed for Sado Marine City. Place beyond the sea. Landing. That was a very important uh, voice line. <laughs> section of the dome covering the city opened and welcomed us within. For an instant, I smelled the salty sea breeze. How my fingers hurt now? Get some rest for those thingies. Yeah. Hey, how long are you planning to drag me around for? Well, she isn't fucking panicking yet. Stop it already, taking such sleazy hollows on me. I know you're blackmailing me. Haruto, something's wrong with you. I'm gonna keep playing, just might change the game. Okay. Okay. You do what you do. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you through all this. In the hollow, I only took it because you just looked so cute. Just don't want you to go back. Why does why is he suddenly less angry? Can't be helped. I have a curfew. Hey Haruto, did something happen? If you continue to do such things, your mother's going to be worried too, you know. Oh now he's angry again. <laughs> Never mind. Parents have nothing to do with this. Study, study, study. That's all they ever said. Even though I already tried so hard. Well, try harder, bitch. Haruto? Haruto? Well, I really didn't need to read that. <laughs> oh well. You're the only one who understood me. So please don't say we'll never meet again. I'll even apologize for threatening you. I still like you. Don't forgive him, please. What? I never said such a thing. Haruto? Nani the fuck? You're dead! I have proof! Look at this text. Here's what it said. Once I get to Tokyo, it's the end. I won't do either of... It won't do either of us any good. We'll never meet again. Stay well. Ah... Uh, I see. What's this? That wasn't me. It must have been my mom. She hacked into my account and sent it. Now I don't know what to believe. Your mom hacked your account? Your mama. <laughs> Sorry. She told me I needed to make lots of good friends who'd be useful for my future when I went to went on to study in Tokyo. What's up with that? Am I just some classmate from the sticks who wouldn't be useful for your future? Is that why she made you sever ties with me? Yes, yes, very believable. Obviously. Well, I don't know, maybe maybe she's a hacker mom. <laughs> I never thought of it in that way. That's why when you popped up out of the blue, I was happy to see you and hung out with you still. Hmm. Slightly confusing, but I think I know what's happening. Well, that's that's true. If you hated me, you wouldn't have met up with me anyway. Uh, I guess I was right to come visit you. Visit you. Yeah, and then fucking abduct her. <laughs> but I didn't expect you to know my address. Raya's secretary must be really advanced in order to locate my address all the way in Tokyo. I am confusion. I am confusion too. Very confused. Isn't it? 
I already told you this yesterday, but when I woke up one morning, there was this new holo avatar who introduced itself. I wonder when it could download it, though. There's some... That's a virus. <laughs> That's a virus, mister. This is what they uh, told me. I am Alpha. I'm here to help you. Are we talking about the same kind of alphas? <laughs> oh, wait, no. The AI I said. But the AI is alpha. Right. Okay, my bad. Uh, I'm here to help you. There's someone you want to see, isn't there? No need to hide it from me. I've been watching you. Creepy. Why didn't you go find her? It's not like you can't go to Tokyo, right? If you need someone to guide you, I can do that for you. I held it. Not tired. You're tired. Got him. Before I knew it, the AI led me to you. It was like fate, right? You and I should never be separated from each other. <gasps> Maybe. Well, are you satisfied now? Give me my phone. I ended up skipping class and I need to call my mom back. I don't want to. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Don't be a dick. Haruto? Don't be so selfish. You can always hang out again during summer vacation. I think he wants you all for yourself. I finally get to see you again, so just stay with me a little longer. If you do, I'll delete the holo and give your phone back. Does that sound okay? Just for today. Man, this dude is fucking desperate. This is not how you get her back. I don't know if they've ever even been in a like relationship. Probably not. I don't know. I won't do anything you don't like, I promise. That's why. Just please. Otherwise I would. You would what? Okay, one day. Only one day. Hmm. I don't like where this is going. Lots of places in this town filled with memories, huh? Is there? Sado Marine City National Hospital. A hospital under the Minister of Health and Welfare. It's also our temporary headquarters during this case. I'm back. I'm dad. I hope you had a good shower. It was within the central management tower, the core of the city. Like its name suggested, it was a landmark where all of the city's systems were managed. I'm dad. There you go. In text too. In addition, there were living quarters for its employees, facilities for firefighting, drones, and so on. All of the city's necessary services were located here. With the VTOL aircraft takeoff and landing facility on the roof, this tower would more than meet our needs as a temporary headquarters. This VTOL was called the Super Ambulance. Sorry. It was actually a. It was called the Super Ambulance, but it was actually a PSB exclusive vehicle, mainly used when an incident brought us to more rural areas. I'm was fine. <laughs> Sorry, need a new razor? Mmm. Person! Vegan! Well, I hope you get one soon. Because I know how much it sucks to share with a very dull one. Karanomori stayed behind in Tokyo and is analyzing the data from the street cameras and scanners. The results say that they are on the move in the city, using a rental car. <laughs> wow, they're so rich. Must be nice. I would like to be rich too. 
I hope I do too. I get some, can't get some of these cuts to stop bleeding. It's so annoying. Mm -hmm. Just don't bleed to death, okay? <laughs> I'm sure they're not that deep, but still, take care, man. Don't joke around. There's something odd about that. Isn't that right? Kara no more. Kara no mori. Kara no mori. Yes. So so. Yeah, all their transportation services have been covered free of charge. Strange, isn't it? Well, now I won't bleed the dress, I promise. Good. I believe you. Much loud person. Isn't it possible it was prepared in advance when this crime was planned? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Much love. <laughs> I considered that, but there were no traces of free pass being contracted beforehand. And his family isn't wealthy enough to provide him with that much money either. <laughs> we should assume that something illegal was done. Should I request for further investigation into this matter? So how's the story time stream? It's getting interesting. Little by little. Uh, were you already here? I mean, were you still here when you, we saw the abducted girl and the guy? So that story has, like, been going on now. That's not here. Okay, so... Apparently they had... There's the girl... And the guy. And they had some... Uh, some sort of history? And the guy is a bit of a creep. A l quite a bit of a creep, actually. <laughs> um, apparently he had taken like a... 3D photograph of her back in middle school and she was he was now uh, kind of blackmailing her with it that if she doesn't spend the day with him he'll send the picture to all of all of her friends from her phone it was like she was just it's it was nothing bad really he was just she was just like hunched over uh, a desk like at school but still. The guy's a dick. That's all you need to know. I damn hate that. Yeah, same. Of course, it's a request from the cute Nadeshiko after all. <laughs> I'll do my best. Ah, we're cute. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I do not think my looks are of any concern to the case. Don't care. I was just trying to ease the tension. And yeah, you don't glare at her like that. Well, see ya. Analyst Kara Nomori was quite capable, but I could not really understand her. In any case, they've yet to leave the city. Isn't that right, Inspector? Yeah. We checked the routes leaving Sado Marine City, but there were no signs they left. They're still inside. Well then, let's go after them. All of you, bring a Dominator with you. We don't know when we may need it. Dominator? I'm curious to see what that is. The way you say it, it's like Haruto's already a latent criminal in your mind, Inspector Ginos. Oh, already. Also, uh, we get raided. I took the helmet already off because, or off already. So when I hear the sounds, voices, stuff. Who raided? Uh, Chaos Reigns. 2788. Considering his huge deterioration, that possibility exists. An enforcer who cannot enforce when it's required is not needed. 
<clears throat> I know that. I know that. Police! An automatic container rolled toward us and opened its slit. Two dominators were present. I grabbed the one on the right. I guess the weapon. Eh? Do you know how to use it? Sorry, I was hearing whistling, but that came from Swar stream that I have on my phone. Won't be an issue. I completed my registration my first day. That's the screen. Why nothing happened? I'm touching the screen. Oh, they could have used the touchpad for this. Come on, man. That would be so good. If you don't know, the PS5 controller and PS4 controller has a touchpad. <laughs> they could have used it. Nothing happened on my screen either. Dang it. It's broken, man. But yeah, that would have been real cool. Okay, now what? Oh, I need to press. Okay, it's like a handgun. Dominator affordable psychological diagnosis and suppression system has been activated. EPPDSS. <laughs> User authentication. Inspector Nadeshiko Kugatachi. Affiliation. DSP, Criminal Investigation Department. Dominator usage approval confirmed. You are a valid user. <gasps> We're valid! Let's go! <laughs> Enforcement mode. Non lethal paralyzer. Please aim calmly and subdue the target. Paralyze? I hope it's not permanent. <laughs> a voice spoke from it. There was a profound heaviness to the gun, and when I realized I would be able to protect the society, I would be able to protect society with it. Its weight grew within my clutches. Gun weighs like fucking hundred kilos by now. I stiffened my posture. As an inspector, as a member of civil society, I would not fail to uphold all the responsibility that came with it. It's quite the noisy gun. Can't anything be done about it? Don't worry, you'll get used to it soon enough. Also, the voice is directly linked to you, so nobody else can hear. I'm not sure that's not what he meant. Maybe he did, I don't know. Right, everyone, move out. Move out! Look at the car, it's fucking cool. Split into two cars and headed out to track down Haruto Sato. I was with Inspector Tsunemori as well as in for Enforces Kagami and Masaoka. Inspector Tsunemori took the wheel while Enforcer Kagami sat beside her in the passenger seat. I sat in the rear with Enforcer Masaoka. Very important to the story, I'm sure. Being new, I did not have the opportunity to talk with him much, but I heard he was the most seasoned veteran in this division. I wanted to ask his, opi his opinion on the matter. Mm, yes, it's related. Enforcer Masaka, what are your thoughts regarding this case? Mm? Ah, no need for that stuffy way of speech. After all, we're just enforcers, you're supporting us. I am more comfortable speaking like this. So, any thoughts? Thoughts, huh? It appeared to be just an instance of youth gone wild. Youth gone wild? Their friends who got separated. On top of that, the kid is unmistakably smitten with the little lady. Probably wanted to make some memories. 
Well, you don't have to be a dick and a fucking creep about it. As expected of you, Pops. All those years offer much wisdom. That's an interesting opinion, but a call just came in from analysis. Haranomori. The location of Haruto Sato and, Sato and Shiori Matsukata's rental car has been determined. That was fast. Inspector Tsunemori. Oh, wait, this is my voice. Inspector Tsunemori, the shortest route is now being displayed. Please pursue them. Please. 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 Please pursue. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why. I don't know. Understood. Now switching to auto navigation. Tips have been updated. Wow. Sure, that's gonna come in handy. The car accelerated. Accelerated. The car accelerated at once. The tablet I held displayed the expected arrival time to apprehend the target. Seven minutes and 26 seconds. Regarding your opinion, what is your reasoning for concluding that Haruto Sato harbors romantic feelings for Shiori Matsugata? It's fucking obvious. If you're paying attention to the video at all. And it's all a gut feeling. But Ko feels the same too, right? Yeah. Personally, I think if we leave them alone, the situation may simmer down naturally and resolve itself. I doubt it. I'm back happy again, that. <laughs> ah, same brain, man. Same here. If possible, I'd prefer to just let the kids have their fun. Are you fucking serious? What were they doing? Speaking such nonsense. Also, I could not understand how a baseless Lison Rack, Haruto is smitten with Shiori, could validate optimism. Indeed. I cannot do that. His hue worsened and he fled from the drone that approached him. First of all, I see no connection between affection and blackmail. Exactly! I mean... Well, yeah. I mean, he is. Clearly. If not in love, definitely has a crush on her, but still. You don't go blackmailing someone you like. <laughs> Uh, as a result of his clouded hue, he's thinking more like a criminal. Immediate therapy is a must. Off the therapy, which you... No connection, that's... <laughs> you don't? Oops. Oh. <laughs> you can see it. It's the target's car. Raising my head, I could see the rental car Haruto and Shiori were in beyond a row, row of other cars. Rental car Haruto and Shiori were in beyond a row, okay. Moving to secure the targets. Okay. Roger that. Oh! Oh! Okay. That's fucking cool. Naruto? <laughs> sure. Inspector Tsunemori switched to manual drive. At the same time, Informer Enforcer Kagami hit the center console, turning off the vehicle's hollow and our car sped. Sirens blazing. That's clever. Has there been any gameplay? Porcelain. This is the gameplay. <laughs> it's a visual novel. This is the gameplay. This is the MWPSP. Persons in the rental car, stop your vehicle at once. I see, I see. Yeah. Passenger's window opened and a girl stuck her head out. Shiori, Shiori Matsukata. Her face was pale, eyes wide. She called for help but was quickly pulled back in. Yeah, I'm not a super fan of uh, visual novels. This is my second one. First one was uh, out of full boyfriend. 
That was weird. But I kind of liked it still. Back in, in number 200 and something. Continue. I retract my opinion. That kid's completely lost his mind. <laughs> Thank you. You finally understood. Stop. You understand? I said stop. Stop, motherfucker. Rental car showed no signs of stopping, but it was only a matter of time till we would catch up to them. Or so we thought. Eh? What in the world is that? That means their act of defiance isn't just for show. The speeding rental car entered the oncoming lane. No collision, it dodged the oncoming car, sweeping in and out. And skillfully slipped away. Damn, he's a good driver, huh? It's impossible. I won't catch up to them with my driving. Haruto Sato does not possess a driver's license. And yet, how? How the fuck? Well, you don't drive a car with the license. Is what people hear. Say at least. <laughs> There's no reason. Missy, brace yourself. We're going to attempt a pincer attack with the other team's car. Yes. Yes. Look at that. You contact Gino's team. Tsunomori, give me the wheel. Just the wheel, though. Like, take it off of the st steering column and give it to him. I'm trying really, I'm trying way too hard <laughs> to make stupid jokes. Roger that. Kaina Tsunemori, applying for vehicle operation rights for enforcer Shinya Kogami under inspector access rights. <laughs> I'm sorry, Porcelain. I only know bad jokes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gets the leaky tongue. <laughs> Don't be mad. <laughs> Uh, voice recognition and user ID confirmed. Operation approved. Okay, there's no time to waste. We're continuing on like this. Tsunemori, just leave your food on the gas. Leave the driving to me. Uh, but it's so reckless. It really is. <laughs> oh, I already have one. Dang it. Well, catch another one or something. I don't know. Enforcer Kogami lifted himself out of his seat and grabbed the steering wheel. In that strange position, he maneuvered the car skillfully, chasing after the suspect. Utterly reckless, yes. But it was the best course of action at the moment. Enforcers were actually different from us, after all. As I looked on, I received a call. <gasps> no. No. Okay. Okay, then. It was Inspector Ginoza. Confirmed they are heading here. I don't know if it's Ginoza or Ginoza. Considering it's Japanese, I would say it's Ginoza. Or Ginoza. I don't know. So, Inspector Ginoza is behind the wheel. Though he may not look it, he's pretty good. Just like you said, Inspector Ginos drove with a ferocity unbefitting to his intellectual image. Like a dog chasing after its prey, the rental car was about to be cornered. Bye bye, Likitung. Nice to see you in chat. Put <laughs> your foot on the gas, Tsunemori! I know, I know, I know, man! Give me a fucking break, dude! Inspector Tsunemori and Enforcer Kogami made quite the duo, gaining within reach of the rental car. The suspect had nowhere to run. We'd, appre we'd apprehend him and... <laughs> the end. <laughs> Shit. Suddenly our car swerved and we spun out and our bodies jerked forward. The tablet shot out from my lap. 
Then we stop right before entering the oncoming lane. Oh shit. Inspect the Tsunemori, enforce the Kukami. Are you okay? You good, bro? Bros. Somehow, what the hell just happened? In front of us, Inspector Ginosa's vehicle had barely stopped inches away from the side of the road. Slipping past it, the rental car sped off. Damn it. Just what in the world is happening? What's going on? Nobody could answer my question. Zoom team. What in the world happened? Haruto is the creepy dude, by the way. Why is a patrol car, patrol car from the PSP chasing us? Because you kidnapped a 16 year old girl. Or maybe not kidnap, but still. I think my mom must have filed a report. DJL1LADN3 says, Such request probably. For all we know, it may already be an incident. <laughs> Why? All I wanted was to make some finals mem final memories with you. Why does everyone have to interfere? Because you've been a dick. Q has worsened. It's now at a level that requires treatment. What's wrong, Haruto? Aren't you happy? Alpha is an area. Am I hearing a bass drum? I don't know, are you? I know I am. <laughs> that was that was my question to you, Porson, like exactly the same. Yeah, there is a little bit of bass drum. But I'm not using headphones. Oh. Fair. Shut the hell up! Hey, can we stop? Let's just go home and apologize to everyone. If we stop now, they might still forgive us, right? You want to leave me that much? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, stop that. It hurts. Don't touch it. Don't touch her. I don't, you, I don't want to let you go. I just want to be with you. Please give me a little longer. Only for tonight. Just the two of us. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, May. Did you promise not to do anything I don't like? You the promise first, didn't you? Said you would spend the whole day with me, but then you went and called the patrol car? I don't think it's her. I mean, I know it's not her. <laughs> it's not her who did it. No! Let me go home! You hate me that much? You, huh? Ever since we met, I was the only one who loved you, yet you never even let me have a kiss. That's not how things work. We still spend some time together, right? Why? What was I to you? A friend? An accessory? Or just some convenient tool? Gaslight McGee! Say something! Haruto, you're not happy, huh? This is very uncomfortable. <laughs> Shut up! I'll break you! I don't want to be broken. The living must all protect and take care of each other, right? Yeah, that's right. But living isn't enjoyable either. Hey, relatable! <laughs> Sorry. That is troubling. Haruto, I wish to help you. If you are happy, then it will make me happy too. 
So Haruto, what should I do? Get out of my way! Let's you and me be alone! No. I understand, Haruto. Then I will do my best not to interfere with you. But it seems the people chasing you have yet to give up. The PSP? Can track their movements? There's surveillance all over the place. Our movements are being recorded. Even now, I can feel them searching for us. Sorry for not skipping to the next one. I prefer to have like to let the Japanese voiceover um, go. Do something about it. We're done for if they catch us. Okay, I'll do what I can, Harut. For your happiness. What's with this home secretary? It's scary. But useful. Brought me to you. We're alone now, sure. I won't let anyone interfere again. Just a little bit longer. Uh, I need this fucking part to be over so bad. That was so uncomfortable. Something is interfering with the car's navigation system. This enemy is quite the skilled hacker to be able to break into the car like this while it's in manual drive. Where are they headed? No clue. All the GPS data and all the logs from street cameras. <laughs> and scanners have all suddenly been wiped. That's a lot of damage! <laughs> I mean, I can't do anything with what's left. You're saying that Haruto Sato hacked into our system? According to his profile, his data processing aptitude isn't particularly high. Hi, hi! Hey, what if Shiori helped him? They're close, right? She's innocent! Leave her alone. Leave her out of this. Possibility is low. Shiori Matsugara was calling for help. Oh, she was the one who called the patrol cars? Also, her data processing aptitude isn't high enough to hack at this level. I don't know how we know that. In which case, there is an accomplice. You think? Mikami, are you saying there's a hacker helping Haruto Sato? There's no other explanation. The problem is... A ring, 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 ring. Help me! There a problem? The Ministry of Welfare's Urban Service System supports the healthy lives of the public. Oh god. It's like a AI answering machine thingy. You can report instead. Aren't you a public safety bureau drone? Oh, a drone. What are you doing? What are you doing? Dude. Aren't you going to the restroom? What do you think you're doing? Trying to run away. Eh? Eh? Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh god. No, stop! What are you doing? 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 Severe stress response detected. Q check will be conducted. Q color, Sienna. Immediate treatment at your nearest medical specialist is recommended. Sienna? What color is Sienna? I need to Google this. His sword's like a little big. It's like a tan color. That's what I thought. I'm getting images of cars. Oh, okay. 
Okay, that makes sense, I think. Oh, nope. Must have swore on my phone. See what you've done. We get caught by a huge checker. Now we've been, we've been flagged. Don't worry, we won't get caught. Hey, Shiori. Running is pointless. Stop. Amate. Amate. Okay, friend. Help me! Be quiet! Don't make me hurt you! Please, no hurt, Shiori. Oh man, this is getting real bad. It's like an old soap opera. Is this what they call a lover's quarrel? No. Is this all? Are there no visual records? I'd be glad if there wasn't. Nothing was recorded. There's a good chance it was erased. But the drone's face recognition software was functioning properly and the audio data verification is complete. Talking about an accomplice that we aren't even sure exists can wait. We need to apprehend Haruto Sato as soon as possible. I agree. Let's fucking go. How are we gonna find them? The city is pretty big, you know? I listened to the audio repeatedly and tried to predict the suspect's next move based off his previous movements. Even without my memories, my mind began solving the puzzle. An orange? How slightly off? Well, a tan is a tan. If it's the standard profile of men who commit domestic violence, it's clear from how he threatened Shiori Matsuka and then brought her here. Yep, that's what I was thinking. So you think there's a high possibility his violence will escalate from here on? Yes. Hi. <laughs> Let me take this off. I need to be as comfy as I can for this fucking bullshit. Doesn't that mean that things will get really bad if we don't find him quickly? Hey, Rogue. Oh. Oh, hang on. Stop. I don't know what I did, but I accidentally skipped the whole, whole thing. Damn, have I ain't got one Pokemon this stream? Mm, maybe one. But that's about it. <laughs> if such men deserve control, they will not leave their territory. They're very likely to be within Haruto Sato's spatial patterns of his daily life. In that case, the old-fashioned method, 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 method of door-to-door -door house searches and Q&As will be the quickest method to find out where Haruto usually hangs out. Such a prehistoric method would have taken too much time. Would take too much time. We should activate all the drones within Sato Marine City and widen our search radius. What about hacking countermeasures? No problem. We'll form a surveillance net with real-time data sharing across all drones. This will apprehend the hacker before they can begin infiltrating our systems. Oh, I accidentally skipped it a little. That's what they call searching with a fine-tooth comb. comb. It's as classical a method as eavesdropping, but an effective decision nonetheless. Is going like Russian Hearthstone base. Yeah, I can hear it. Classic, you say? Yes. There's the difference between using humans versus drones, but both methods convey the classic adage. Adage. <laughs> Detective must be able to think on their feet. <laughs> that means Inspector Ginoza is a detective just like us, huh? Watch your mouth. Are you saying I'm the same as you enforcers? 
Obviously. Sorry, that was weird. I don't know why the audio is cutting. Inspector Ginoza, please calm down. When thinking of an effective way to solve a case, there is no difference between inspectors and enforcers. I am calm! Back, 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 back. Hi, back, 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 if you do not get a hold of your emotions and calm down, I will be unable to trust your decision-making abilities. Oh, shit! Oh, he's gonna be mad after that one. My keyboard broke. <laughs> broke. What happened? What happened to your keyboard? Are you saying him less trustworthy than an enforcer? See, I told you he, was, he would be mad. Do you spell choose on it? Text, text is gonna be extra sucky. My keyboard is a borky. Bork, bork. Guys, this isn't the time to be arguing. We have to decide on our course of action at once. We're not losing more time. Oops, I skipped again. That's right, Gino. In the first place, Gugatachi was never even criticizing your search method. Uh, because it doesn't input some of my inputs on my keyboard and my on my keyboard my keyboard <laughs> I'll I'll do my best to try to understand what you're saying I do understand more most of it if that's the case then everyone should follow my method oh laptop ski oh Hmm. No, I have concluded that both method methods are equally effective. As such, I propose splitting up into two teams. Oh, what a good idea! Then, Inspector Ginoza can command the drones. Mr. Masaka and the rest of us will go conduct the investigation. Fine. We'll go with that. We have two vehicles without auto navy anyway. Who get that shit? Well, who do you intend to go with? Do I actually do we actually get to do do a choice? Can we make a choice? I Oh Inquire or track. I think tracking means the drones. I like drones. First time you can play the game, let's go. <laughs> then I will join Inbe Inspector Ginoza's search team. Weren't you more in favor of conducting an investigation? I said they were equal. Play good methods. Please do not put words in my mouth. I just the two methods as being equally effective. Do you think speaking to the suspect's friends and family is more effective now? <laughs> oh shit. When did I say that? <sighs> we don't need this drama now. We have stuff to do. I believe your words and actions indicate that you think the investigation would be more effective, but you were unable to publicly admit it. Oops. Ms. Kukatachi, the argument ends now. We're moving out. Mr. Karanomori, can I leave the data recovery to you? Absolutely fucking not. Sure thing. I'll do what I can. You sure have it tough, Akane? Did that girl have really been born in a lab? <laughs> Are you talking about me? <laughs> I have no memories of my parents, but they did exist. There are no records of my conception being in a lab or any other similar environment. Maybe it's hidden, but the government, I don't fucking know. Oh, what? You serious? <laughs> you serious? You really can't understand, understand humor. Could Neda Shiga be some kind of droid or something? I've never exchanged my body for an android, and my brain is also my own living tissue. 
So are you suggesting that I have no human char characteristics? I mean, she, our character, she does seem very dry <laughs> when it comes to like understanding S sarcasm and satire and stuff, irony. Nai, nai. Exactly. You're like a robot. Even Kuni is more human than you. Who's Kuni again? Oh, that one. What do you mean by that? Oh, but Yayo is quite the passionate one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. After seeing Enforcer Kunizuka's cheeks become a bit flushed. Oh, I didn't even notice. I looked at the floor for some reason. Even though there was no reason to look down. Shyness. Hey, Shu, that's going overboard. You might not understand it, but everyone has their own issues. Isn't that right, Miss Kukatachi? Oops. Lifted my head up and saw Enforcer Tsurugi smiling at me. Did he understand something I did not? I wanted to ask him, but the case was more of a priority. Yeah, stuff like that can wait. Stop messing around and get going. Since there is no auto navy, um, auto navy, <laughs> auto navy, I'm driving. You fine with that? I am indeed exceptionally fine with that. Yes, I will leave that to you. Ring. To support Inspector Ginoza, I sat in front. Looking out the window, I noticed how much faster the car went without the autonavi as we sped past the urban scenery. Overtime overdrive -o. No. <laughs> I have stuff to do. Are we going a little too fast? It's within the legal limits. We can visually confirm if there's any traffic as well, so there's no problem. He knows quite the speed, demon. Apparently many people who love to speed are facing repress repression from society. Are you possibly feeling stressed from your current environment? Mind your own business. Kunizuka, what's the status on deployment of the drone network? It's finished. No problem with the system synchronization. No traces of any hacking detected either. Hey, yush. I like saying yush. Okay, keep your eyes peeled. Let me know immediately if you find the suspect's vehicle. Watch that. The problem is where to go. Go home! Regarding that, I am currently analyzing and predicting the suspect's actions based off his aptitude and behavioral data. I see. Then let's hear what you have so far, Inspector Kukatachi. I stream like you didn't hear you, so overtime, overtime, no. I have stuff to do. Also, two hours mark. Based off his recent movements, he should be... Oh, more choices already? Okay. K.O. K.O. Um... Shopping district? It seems he liked games and shopping. Let's head to the shopping district. That's what I assumed where they would be considering... Uh, they said, uh, like... Oh. They said Shiori said she was going to the toilet. There were no signs of either of them in the shopping district. It was probably quite grand in the past, but due to the population decline, it was now desolate. The entire area was decorated with hollows. The alleys exposed ruins that were so dilapidated, even the exterior hollows could not mask them. Speak is another bad one for the one game it is. 
I don't know about that. We'll see. I mean, we're already halfway through. <laughs> it hasn't been super good. This doesn't look like a place to have a date. It used to be a little nicer. Hmm. Hmm. You've been here before? Backstory time. For a moment, I felt a strange sense of deja vu, but I do not remember ever being here before. I've always assumed I was born in Tokyo. That doesn't mean that you could not have been here too. No, it's probably just my imagination. Ring ring, motherfucker. Hey! Stop liking sound. Inspector Ginoza, a call from Tsunemori's team. It's me, what's up? What's that, dude? This is Hound 1. Traces of large amounts of drug consumption have been found in the suspect's residence. Drugs! Yummy! Drug consumption? What kind and how much? Ultimental supplements and tranquilizers shown in the hall of her over-the-counter drugs that did not require any prescription. But there was far too much. Such a large quantity. We should assume Haruto Sato's hue has further deteriorated. This high of a dosage could be detrimental to his mental state. Drago? Drago! Yes, yes, yes. Miss Droid's diagnosis is the same, huh? Miss Droid? You're talking about me? <laughs> this isn't time to be screwing around. Punk. Ass bitch. But we could not proceed with that direction. Silence filled the car. Then, we received an emergency call. Still lacking an issue on my end or... Which just for Karina? Mine isn't lagging. So I guess it's on your end then. <gasps> Clang! Catch that metal gear thingy. Not metal gear, but like a gear made of metal. <laughs> metal gear is something completely different. Ring ring, motherfucker. <gasps> What's the matter? I'm cutting the call if you're just going to mindlessly chatter. <laughs> That's not very nice. Hey, having such a short temper won't do you any good, okay? I guess you don't want to know what lights I found in Haruto. Really? <laughs> Street scanner caught Haruto Sato getting out of his car when he stopped at the residential area to use the toilet. I don't know why my stream lags so much. I think it's fine now. Yeah, still lagging. Maybe somebody's using the internet to download something. Never mind. Not lagging. Well, hope it gets better. Let's say the situation doesn't look very good. His hue has already worsened to a dark red. I do like dark red. Oh god, is he already one of us? <laughs> Oh yeah, because enforcers are like former criminals. If it's lagging, I'm gonna restart the laptop. Good work. Yay, go Porsche! I'm gonna lurk for a bit if this keeps lagging a lot of mind. Alrighty then. You do the lurky lurkies. I hope it gets better. It's not been confirmed yet. Analyst Karanomori. Where did they go after that? So I'm sorry, I really want to exceed your expectations, but the rest of the data somehow got erased again. It seems like any more info would require an extra fee. You're asking for more money? Now? There's a person's life on the line. How much do I need to pay? Good touch. Don't entertain her. Tsunemori's team is calling us. Karanomori. We're hanging up. Carry on with recovering the data. 
Okay, okay. You can provide me with the service later then. Service? Ah, Ginoza-san. Tsurumida. Ah, Inspector Ginoza. It's Tsurugi. Yes, we can see that. <laughs> Hello. According to Enforcer Tsurugi's report, Haruto Sato and Shiori Matsukara had been in a relationship and went on dates occasionally. Okay. I thought they never were together. Haruto really liked Shiori. He was devastated after they were torn apart. God fucking damn it. Relatable. He said it with such confidence, but it wasn't to suspect. So how could he say that with such certainty? It's as if, it's as if Enforcer Tsurugi shared the same emotions as Haruto Sat. Or maybe he just has been doing his fucking job. Uh, filtering the useful info from his overly emotional report, I deduced that the remain date spots could be narrowed down to the mall, park, and library. But well, we already checked the mall. We're heading to the library. That's where Haruto and Shiori had spent most of their time together. That concludes my report. Understood. If Tsunamura agrees, then I have nothing to add. I'll wait your next report. I await your next report. Sorry, it's you know. It seems the other team is heading to the library, but what should we do? Other possible destinations include the mall and the park, as suggested by Tsunemur's team. Well... My... We were... Which already checked them all, did we not? There could be other possibilities. No. Oh. Well, of course. If you put it like that, we'll never find where they are. You have to hurry up or else sure we'll be in big trouble. I agree. Would be foolish to run around aimlessly while we have leads now. I know. At the same time, we should not eliminate other possibilities. Also true. Considering all the possibilities, I will analyze Haruto Sato's action, actions and predict his location once more. Let's go to the park. Get it to the park. According to the dating hotspots we checked, it was a very common date spot used by middle school students. But when we got there, it was deserted. There was not a soul to be seen. I don't know why... I don't know why we're not expecting Haruto to be hiding somewhere. Considering we're already chasing him. And he already kind of kidnapped Chiori, in a way. Isn't Tsunemur's team already searched here? Have they? I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. We received no such report from Inspector Tsunemori. Also, time has passed. The probability that they may come here still exists. Man, this huge empty space makes me want to play catch. Don't even think about asking me. Ask Surugi instead. I could ask him like he'd be down. Mm. I hear that playing catch is good for cultivating a good friendship. Can I join too? Opening in forces is also part of an inspector's job. <laughs> That'd be weird. Huh? You being for real? Are you serious? Hey, cut the useless chatter. Ring ring, ring ring. 
Found the suspect? Where are they? Okay, we'll head over there and over immediately. I like how the music changed like a whole lot. After hanging up, Inspector Ginozo faced off with a stern look. I don't know how to do stern look, I just look at a mat. We're heading back. The suspect and the victim are in the library. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Well, but, Linda, listen, they were already going in the library, the other team. So there was no point for us to go there. Don't waste time worrying about that. Run. You have to make it there in time. Kunizuka is right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Remember how much we used to study here? It was fun, wasn't it? No. I don't know. Looks mad, man. Say something now, Shuri. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what? Why are you making such a face? Do you hate me? We were together for so long. I professed my love to you. You told me you liked me too. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It was never mutual, was it? Stay away. Don't come near me. Just want to be next to you. Just like before. Two of us here. We did nothing but study. Here. Then it could shut down. That was the same time you left to Tokyo. It's not my fault. I'm not in the wrong. I didn't do anything. I really am sorry I'm butchering her voice so bad, but I can't go that high. Should I do... <laughs> uh, should I do tiny pee, -pee voice for her? <laughs> I know you you guys would love it, but also <laughs> it would completely make this into comedy. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> uh, I might have to then. <laughs> yeah, right. We didn't do anything at all. So then, why did you let me hold your hand? Why not? Because tiny people. Sweet! I missed seeing you here. Hello, friend. Welcome in. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Stay away! <laughs> I got off work almost on time today. Heck yeah. That's awesome. How was work? I hope it was good. No matter how much noise you make, nobody will hear you. This is an abandoned building after all. That's good, thanks. Yay! Love to hear it. Um, How have you been lately? Like, in general. We haven't chatted all that much. I wanna know you're doing good. Stop it! It's pointless. It's only the two of us here. Anybody, please! Sorry. Anybody, please! <laughs> Being good, just busy. Thanks for checking in. Sure. Sure thing. How about you? Uh, It's been a... Uh, honest... If I'm honest, it's been like a... It's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster the past couple of days. <laughs> But I'm doing okay now. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Lol. Sweet. Well, not those kind of days, so sorry. Yeah. It is what it is. But it's been like the both ends of like the emotional, emotion spectrum. You know? Both like really happy and also really sad. 
Uh, we could do anything behind this closed door, Shiori. Anything. Did you know that? So there's any closing hours or people here. We can do anything we want. I don't like them. A lot of ups and downs. Those stink. They stink so bad. Unlike me, I actually showered tonight. Today. <laughs> I went without shower for like five days because... Energy. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't! <laughs> no, you don't. You're the one who threw me into the curb. He's fucking mad, man. I'm scared about this. No! <laughs> oh boy. Turning point? Hope you do not wear out with tiny pee pee boots. <laughs> well, I'll have some rest now. That's only for Shiori. Everyone else I can do in normal voice. <laughs> uh, by the time we arrived, the door had already been broken into. We confirmed both cars parked in front of the building were Inspector Ginoza's car and Haruto's rental. Looks like Tsunemori's group already went ahead. Let's get a move on it. Do we need to talk? I'm here. I think... Well... Obvious that's very kind, but I think sweet just meant like in general. General. <laughs> okay. But it's still very nice. I don't need to say that. Okay. I said it anyway. <laughs> Enforcers Kagari and Kunizuka rushed forward with Dominators in hand. Inspector Ginoza and I ran behind them. And the moment I pulled out my Dominator. Thanks, Vegan, here for you too. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Look at you guys being so awesome. Much love, guys. Much love. Pulled out your dominator. <laughs> Linda, listen. <laughs> Before you get any ideas, it's just a handgun. <laughs> Cute, thanks. Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> hey, there's a credence. Catch it. A scream echoed from above, and former Kagari's face tensed up and he sprinted faster. Following suit, I raced up the stairs. That's the gun. Oh, shit. Oh. Vibrations? Just then a gunshot was fired. Oh, was that not... Was that not us? During the broken door, the screaming was still audible. A gut-wrenching sound, like someone had died. Was I too late? Haruto wouldn't kill Shiori? Maybe Haruto is the one dead? The moment I rushed in, I knew my prediction had been right. I was too late. I failed to reach them in time. No! What happened? The first thing I experienced was the smell of blood. Next, the obliterated... Obliterated upper half of Haruto. Finally, the infinite pieces of human flesh scattered everywhere. Damn, this shit got fucking dark. <laughs> Fuck. Enforcement complete. Yeah, I can see that. Or, well, I can read that, I guess. <laughs> Behind Enforcer Kogami, Shiori Matsukata continued screaming, her eyes wide, staring at Haruto's remaining half. I walked towards her with my Terminator at the ready. So he was, like, actually... torn in two? Haruto's remaining half. Versus Kogami. How is her psychopath? Fucking dead. I was about to check, but most likely... Not good. Yep, she's not doing so well. 
I mean, I'm not really surprised. Then please let me do it. It's my first case after all. This could... That's a brutal first, first case. Huh? Current coefficient over 210. Target for enforced mend action. Safety released. Huh? Don't need that analyzer. Okay, I can't do anything here. It's just a... Uh, yeah, it is. The inorganic voice of the Dominator confirmed that Shiri Matsukata's return to society was hopeless. Are you fucking serious? That's... <laughs> it what? There's something I knew ever since I had heard her screams shrill throughout the building. But even then, I was still disappointed. I had hoped that maybe I could save them. She's going to be fine! Shiori! Uh, no, no. Oh, sorry. No, no, don't come near me. <laughs> Calm down, take it easy. We're here to help you. <laughs> As she backed away, Inspector Tsunemori and Enforcer Tsurugi rushed to her side and tried to calm her down. But she only, Shiori only grew more confused and she struggled. We're all struggling here. Hey, it's Kukatachi, wait! It's, it's Kukatachi. What are you doing? She's the victim. Yeah, what am I doing? That's right, you're going overboard. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> Thanks for the beats, though, sweet. God damn it. Uh, her hue color is midnight blue. Crime coefficient is over 200. She's already already a latent criminal. If the Dominator says, says so, there is no choice but to shoot her. That is not how things... Like, what has she done wrong? But also, she is very confused, and in order to prevent her from harming herself, herself or anyone else, it's oh whoops, it's necessary to calm her down. We have to enforce her before it gets any worse. Yeah, let's just get rid of the victim too. Why not? <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Miss Gugatachi. There's no need for you to shoot. <laughs> Don't shoot! No! What are you doing? Well, it's only non-lethal. At least it should, should, should have been. So, I shot her. Shiri Matsukata. I shot her. Since I couldn't save her, this was all I could do for her now. Enforcer Tsurugi glared at me. What I did should have been the appropriate action right thing to do but the look he gave me brought a heavy ache within my chest because it wasn't the right thing to do well when they get to that point there's nothing you can do then again he fired without any hesitation which makes you one hell of a detective in my book doll no i only feel the magnitude of my own Incompetence now? If I had taken the most suitable course of action, both of them would have never turned into latent criminals. So... <laughs> I don't really get it, like, you don't actually have to commit a crime to become a, la a latent criminal in this... whole universe? That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Don't be conceited. This ended regrettably, but it should have been a good learning experience for you regardless. We aren't gods. Don't think you can save everyone. I guess you're right. But still. Shiori still was the victim, so... 
To your best well understanding, this isn't over yet. There are too many disconcerting points about this case. So yeah, for those who are new here, this is visual novel, so this is all we get. Gameplay wise. We still don't know anything about the accomplice. Hmm. I wonder how things will turn out. Ring, ring, ring. Oh wait, that's me. After the emergency evacuation vehicle left the building, the crime lab drones began moving in. Began moving in to conduct their forensic analysis of the crime scene. I'm kind of glad there's no. Uh, they're not showing. There's no gore and stuff. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a super fan of gore, but I'm also not super opposed to it. But just from reading that thing that happened, I'm... I think we're better off not seeing it. <laughs> uh, I felt a heavy anxiousness weigh down on my shoulders. Could my hue have been affected? Just to be safe, I initialized the hue checker on my wrist calm. So that's like a mental state, in a way. Dark orchid. It had not changed by much, but I felt some mental fatigue. Maybe I should take a mental supplement, just in case. Mmm, drugs. Yeah, sure, why not? We like drugs here. <laughs> I pulled a mental care supplement tablet from my pocket and chewed it. The mild minty taste seemed to clear up my mood a little. Mmm, minty. As the forensic analysis continued, I scanned the area and noticed Enforcer Tsurugi furrowing his brow. Can't deal with this. Filia, bro. Is that because Haruto Sato became a latent criminal? Yeah. No. Well, there's that too, but I think things could have been could have ended better. Don't we all? I definitely do. What are you saying? Haruto Sato. Haruto really liked Shiori, and when they were together, even Shiori probably didn't dislike him. Wow, true love! <laughs> oh wait, when they were together, oh, this is just not... It's not talking about the relationship part, necessarily. Enforcer Tsurugi's voice trembled when he spoke. I could not understand. Why did he empathize with this case to such an extent? Of course, even I had regrets about the results. But I had a feeling we were going about it very differently. We were torn apart by Sibyl's judgment. And then ended up like this. How can Sibyl decide such things like love and hate? It's absurd. I'm still not quite sure what Sibyl is. Maybe we'll find out. It is not absurd. Data from the past decades have proven low romantic compatibility between parties of differing social classes. Oh, shit. But that's... That's fucking bullshit. There are couples who stay together even when separated by distance. Distance causes estrangement and the relationship is doomed to fail. Splitting up would be the best. Ouch. <laughs> God damn it, sweetie. <laughs> Thanks for pities. Uga! I'm Squidward. My final performance is called Doomsday, and I have the shotgun in my hand, and you'll see me one last. Oh, God, wow. Well, I suppose it is fitting. This story. What's up, Uga? How are you doing? How's it going? So, what? Are you saying my feelings for her are of no concern? Wait, your feelings? 
Please calm down. All I did was present my opinion of the relationship between Haruto Sato and Shiori Matsuka. I cannot understand what that has to do with your feelings. I'm doing good. Begin! Uha, Weha. Is Bors here? Haven't seen her in a while, but she has been here. Probably busy with something more important. Sorry, this case was just too similar to my past. I didn't mean to get so heated. I feel you, bro. Past? May I hear about it? No. Sorry. <gasps> no. <laughs> it's nothing great. Simple story. I also had... I had also liked a woman, but we were separated by Sibyl. By the time I realized it, I couldn't even find her. Hmm. I didn't <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't think you have heard that yet. <laughs> Sweat. Sweat. Sweat like a pig. I don't know. <laughs> Enforced Tsurugi feigned a laugh. <laughs> and the sight of his face as he struggled with his past made me feel something in my chest. Hmm. I believe she thought of me the way I thought of her. Ah. This is getting too real, man. Misery. Our heart's the same. If, if so, I hear. Myself to abandon only to love you. Oh my god. Dude. I'm gonna cry if this keeps going on. That's. That song, it's. A song of love from the tale of Genji. Knowing that you also feel the anguish of love. And love for you overflows no matter what may happen to me. It's from that song, right? God fucking dead. Game, please. Stop. You know about it? Are you familiar with the classics? Yeah. No, the woman I just spoke of liked those old songs. I'm already crying. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's okay. Let your emotions flow, anti. Also, catch that tortuga. I see. Many old love songs spoke of anguish. What does it mean to be precious to someone? Okay, first, it starts off like a... Well, I guess as a context, our character, uh, Nareshiko, lost her memories, or had lost her memories before the game started. And then, it was like a detective story thingy, and then we had a little bit of gore in text form. And now it's like a whole lovey-dovey, very deep shit kind of <laughs> kind of story it's been kind of all over the place uh, anguish existed as the exact opposite of happiness why would someone seek love if it could cause such pain or, so, or was that what love meant it's a hell of a good question um I don't know if it's a saying in other places, but we in Finland have a saying that love is an emotional suicide. Which it very well can be. Um, it's maybe a harsh way to put it, but it also I think it's pretty accurate. Sometimes, not always, sometimes. I did not know. It eluded me. I like the emotion needed to desire someone to such an agonizing extent. Lucky! It is true. I believe so too. I've been through that a few times. Uh, I still feel things. But sometimes I've been so... 
So numb. I mean, I've been so numb, it's not even funny. <laughs> always with me, it's always an emotional suicide. Yeah. It is what it is. It appears to be an emotion I cannot grasp. That means you're... A Aero Ace? A romantic asexual. I don't think there's a need to understand. You remind me of her the way you think about everything in an overly logical way. Hmm. In the first place, love and hate are not things that a machine can create. The things that can only rise up from the depths of the soul. I do agree. Hearing those words, I... I don't get it. It's possible. I would like my character to be more human, honestly. My hapsh. Anti. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. He used such an unscientific approach for his reasoning, but I was strangely convinced. It may have been because I had also witnessed Haruto Sato's mad fixation unravel right before me. Yeah, that wasn't love, that was obsession. <laughs> but. but. There still exist some things in humans that the cymatic scan is unable to completely decode. One of those things is love. Is that what you're trying to say? Ah. Uh. Mm. It's not quite that, but, well, it's close enough. In short, one day, even you may like someone so much that you won't be able to help yourself. Man. I wasn't expecting a fucking emotional landslide. Through this game. Suddenly I remembered something someone had told me. Wow, I'm really white. And my eyes are very blue. What if I turn the light off? <laughs> I'll keep on telling you that I love you until you understand it. It has nothing to do with reason. You are white. I ah, yes, very white. I could only vaguely recall the person's f uh, face and voice, but I could feel my heart beating faster. Was this someone who had such a passionate affection for me? Good lord. What's wrong, Miss Gugatachi? Did all my talk about love make you fall for me? <laughs> well, what if? Can we actually choose? Ah. No, that's not it. In the first place, I do not understand romantic emotions. As such, it's not possible that I could fall. Fall. For you. Uh, just a simple joke. Just a joke. Or is it? What did I say to that person? And I understood it then. Understood it then. That feeling of cherishing the anguish of love. Fun fact: one of my favorite games is just a random flash game. What is it called? I wonder if I played. Man, flash games, haven't seen those in a while. I could not remember. Ring. Oh, that was the thingy from. Huh? What is this? The enemy one, the enemy two. How cruel. Just when Haruto was finally reunited with Chiori, he would have been happy just being able to be with her. Well, it has to be fucking mutual. I'm gonna restart my laptop. Lags too much. I will tell you after a restart. Got it, friend. Oh, is the this is the fucking alpha AI? I have to make sure they don't interfere next time. At least the image is the same. It still had the question marks as the name, so it wasn't the same AI, I guess. 
Uh, the abduction case of Shiori Matsukata had concluded. Haruto Sato had been forced, yet many things remained unclear. Like who his accomplice was. Someone with large-scale hacking abilities had helped him perpetuate his crime. However, the accomplice left no trail. Must be an AI. That case was quite similar to the specimen case. Specimen case? Well, what were the details of that incident? There was such a case a while back. It was quite the nightmare. Kogami, don't be saying such foolish things. I was a bizarre murder and a kidnapping by a high schooler the same. Wait, who... Who did he murder? Because Sh Shiori was still alive when we got back. I'm back, I hope it doesn't like... Hi, back, I hope it doesn't like I'm dead. <laughs> Sorry. But like... Oh, these are the different things. This is a different case. The other one is the bizarre murder, and this was a kidnapping by a high school. Yes. Okay, I get it now. Oxford comma would have saved me, I think. An incident occurred even though the criminal had no means to execute it. Just like that case, in this one, the suspect had an accomplice. Someone with an erratic mind. And I think one of the last games is just a game named Tanks. I think I know it. Maybe. Can you describe the gameplay for me? So I know if it if it's the same one. Then there will be a continuation to the current case as well. The possibility is high. Leave the speculations at that. We still have to carry on our duties in other investigations. It's going to get busy. It still lags, I gotta watch on my phone. Okay, my dude. Sorry to hear that it lags. It's annoying. In order to investigate the accomplice, it was decided that we would stay longer in Sado Marine City. I don't know if it's Sado or Sado. Maybe Sado. That would make sense, more chance. Chance? That would make more sense when it comes to the Japanese language. During that period, two new incidents occurred. One was the death of a medical cyborg. Is that the one from the beginning? The other was to assist with the citywide mental health examination. Like by the MOBA. The theft had strangely occurred in the National Hospital where we were staying. Sorry. Also, it happened roughly around the same time as the kidnapping. Yeah, this fucker. The stolen cyborg was one of the new models, capable of syncing with the patient both physically and mentally, both measuring, logging and reproducing their senses. Strang. Strange. Or oh, lags on mobile too. Must be your interwebs then. Like other cyberized technolo technology, it could be used to house a human brain and as an immortal body. In this way, users' thoughts, emotions, and other brain activity were locked. Team I'm just gonna leave. Aw. Well, thanks for dropping by. Well, thanks for have hanging out, and I'll 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 see you tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't lag. So we're having issues, luck, take care. Yas, take the best of cares. But all the logs had vanished along with that cyborg, and what had happened during the robbery only left more questions. Here's the footage, but brace yourselves. Oh boy. Oh. Everyone watched as the cyborg opened its eyes and rose up by its own free will. This is like a modern day Frankenstein. Doesn't it look like some man made humanoid creature rising up by its own will? 
Don't say stupid things, Kogami. An AI capable of autonomous movements does not exist, much less a cyborg with free will. That's impossible. I don't know, but sometimes my audio lags. It's like stutters. Now it's just gone. Oh, it's not gone. The music's ended. But it's actually moving. Rather than a death, it looks more like an escape. Medical cyberization allows a patient's brain neurology to be monitored via, via online interconnectivity. So, controlling it from the outside would be possible. You're saying a hacker infiltrated the cyber from outside and controlled it to escape? Potentially. It is the possibility with the least contradictions. Analyst Karanomori. When the death occurred, was there any record of suspicious activity from the outside? Hmm, let me see. Oh, there was. Something clearly suspicious indeed. Hmm, yes, quite indeed. There was some suspicious activity, yes. Hmm. Mighty jolly good. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to have spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. Ooh, mom spaghetti. I'm so sweaty. Mamma mia. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that sounds good. Can you share, please? <laughs> Are you sure, Karanomori? Karanomori. I would if I could. Yay. Much love. <laughs> I only have um, sandwiches to eat. Today. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, the hospital service experienced a huge influx of traffic during the time of the crime, as if a large amount of data was sent. Clearly, the work of a hacker. Oh, Lucario! I think y'all should catch it. Cool. Maybe the countryside, but to be able to hack a hospital under the Ministry of Welfare means the perpetrator must be quite skilled. Um, I could make a sandwich too, but I need to cook this ground pork and beef before it goes bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Um, yeah. I don't have anything else to say. It makes sense. So get on it. I mean, whenever you will. It does feel like the follow-through was lacking. The original point of access was probably erased as expected. Tracking down the culprit will be troublesome. Continue tracking them down regardless. Um, I often have time. I'm... No, it's not time. I often times have trouble with like ham about to go bad. And then I'm like, yes, I'm eating sandwiches for the next few days. <laughs> Just so it doesn't go bad before I can eat it all. Okay, okay leave it to me. Oh, nobody got the Lucari. This is quite the high tech cyber. It's likely something used for scientific research, or so whoever put it in, put in the order for it must be a highly regarded researcher. The thing is, apparently it was donated. Interesting. It had been donated by Sixth Th Tower, the general medical facility of Tokyo's Ministry of Welfare. Details of the order, as well as who issued it, issued it, were still unknown. Hmm? Smells fishy. Mm. 
Tsuruyu, does something bother you about that? Him? Nah, it's just that a friend of mine used to work there. Uh, he is the criminal. Or they. At Sixth Tower? Was your friend a medical practitioner? Yeah. I never knew how she did. Oh, there we go. But she was talented. I wonder if she was suited to be a doctor, though. Like you, she couldn't understand people's emotions. <laughs> well... Do you really need to know, understand people's emotions, if you're a doctor? Just like me. Yep. Just like us. But this heap of metal is quite the pretty cyborg. There's error in that description. Pretty is usually used to describe women. However, this cyborg bears the appearance of a young man. Well, I personally don't have trouble saying men pretty and women handsome. <laughs> They work bo both ways, I think. I know that, Inspector. Take a look. See, sex doesn't matter for Angel. Not the activity, the biological. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> the cyborg shown in the holo monitor was indeed what would likely be considered beautiful, beautiful by the fish definition. It was as pure as innocent as Enforcer Masaga had said, the fitting of an angel. But moreover, for some reason I could not help thinking I saw this cyborg before, somewhere. <laughs> yep. Um, I really want to see where this goes. I'm really invested. I might know this cyborg. What? Where? I'm sorry, but I do not know. Something just makes me feel like I have seen it somewhere before. We did see it in the beginning. Sorry I disappeared. Don't be sorry, but I'm back. Hi, back, I'm dad. Welcome back. <laughs> Would you have seen it before you lost your memories? We did see it in the beginning. It is possible. There's nothing that stands out. It might just be my imagination. Sorry for bringing up something so vague and adding to the confusion. <laughs> Welcome back, Uge. Indeed. But if you really know this cyborg and can remember any clues, report to me immediately. I will. I will. Yes. But man, isn't it such a cliche pickup line to say you think you've met someone before? Is Miss Droid really into that kind of stuff? It's not a pickup line. <laughs> From an objective point of view, I do think it is beautiful. But in Force Kakara, I do not have a fetish for dolls. You sure about that? Wow, no need to be so serious. But a cute one like this? Oh, it's real bad. I care for it like a little brother. Fuck, her no more is weird. I don't like her. <laughs> what was their purpose for stealing this? Well, finding that out is also our job. Considering its value, we pres- Whoa! Considering its value, <laughs> we proceeded with resale as the motive, but this city had no black market and there were no signs suggesting it had been smuggled beyond borders. Maybe you just don't know about the black market? But it was all speculation since I was not leading that case. I was in charge of the other case, the citywide mental health exam, due to my knowledge of psychology. I paid close attention to this case. And so did our Tokyo HQ. After all, we were now in charge of a task that only the Ministry Specialist had been responsible for. Originally, a society under Sibyl's rule 
couldn't have any risk of crime. So it was both surprising and troubling that this hit city had maintained stability with only drones. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the incident of an abduction committed by a miner had occurred. So now there was a risk of an increase in the area's stress level, which could lead to more of these cases. Interesting looking thing. It's like a city. Domed city in the middle of the ocean, apparently. Kind of abandoned uh, these days, but yeah, it's a whole city. Society's foundation was entrusted by the belief that civil system worked. If it was not believed to be perfect, then all meaning would be lost and it would crumble. It looks pretty cool, but how do they get rain? They probably don't. <laughs> um, maybe they have like a little system up top that like... I don't know. <laughs> Sprinkler. As physical extensions of the system, we needed to provide the masses with peace of mind. The Public Safety Bureau existed to protect everyone from social instability. So, until the people of this city could once again function with mere patrol drones, we were tasked with be, We were tasked with being the police. It was our duty, after all. Our duty. That being said. Fuck, dude. <laughs> that being said, it was not like we worked every single day. It was a requirement for any job to offer time off. Of course. The issue was that I had no idea what to do during that time. Maybe it's because I had no memories, but I couldn't even recall any hobbies. Yet, I seemed to like the classics. However, however, reading... Good lord. Reading the classics online for a whole day did not feel satisfying. Time should be used with meaning. And since I was not fatigued, there was no need to sleep. Call. Answer it. It's me. I know you're off duty today, but this won't take up too much of your time. Just wanted to have a word with you. Congratulations, congratulations on completing your first case. You have excelled not only in the field, but also in the office. I wish Kakari could learn from you. Don't we all? And Chief Kasei seems to be extremely satisfied with your work. If you keep it up, the sky is the limit. I knew it. After all, the Chief has high hopes for you. Please continue to work hard to meet our expectations. That is all. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get a spoon of peanut butter crunchy. That was a lot of talk for not a very little text. We'd been in the city for a while, so I should familiar familiar familiarize familiarize yeah myself <laughs> the lay of the land, and I could also prevent any crime from occurring while I was there. And this is where we will draw the line. It has been three hours. We're blue-violet now. Oh, that's like a spectrum. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm gonna end. <laughs> it's been three hours, son. And I have shit to do. Oh man, I know. I know. But hey, if it makes you happy, we're gonna write swore. <laughs> um, he's making dinner for his wife tonight. 
nine viewers how <laughs> well hello everyone <laughs> Um, yeah, Swar is fucking cool. If someone doesn't know you know him already, he's like legitimately the chillest dude I have ever fucking seen in all of Twitch. What do hey, What do heck? Pizza Heart rolling in cheesy modes. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> so yeah, that was Psycho Pass Mandatory Happiness. I will want to continue it. Um,. But yeah, for those who, is, who are new, check out my socials, uh, show my Discord, all the good stuff. Loads of goodies in all the places. <laughs> I see you guys are already ready to raid. Yes, he is. Let's raid. Choo choo all aboard. Choo choo, motherfucker. <laughs> Drip the swar stream. All right, guys. I'll see you then. Sorry, I'll see you there and then later on in another one of my streams. Bye-bye! Give all my love to Swar. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-b